Okay, today I'm going to do something a little different and I'm going to play the Battle of Monmouth. It's a little introductory game. You only got one command per side, so one chip to draw. It has a different feel. It's a good introductory game. Now I really like pub battles for the way it plays smoothly, quickly, and authentically on the larger battles. So I've never really played Monmouth. I've set it up, kind of puffed with it a bit, but I never have really played it. So today I'm going to actually sit down and play it. First off, this is how big the Monmouth map really is. My hand to scale. So I'm going to zoom in there. We'll begin with turn one. Turn one and two are just the Americans moving. The British don't draw a chit at all. Turn one movement. And there we have two turns of movement. Turn three sees the British charge on as Lee is trying to get his army set up. The Americans have destroyed the British block and have fallen back electing not to fight a second round at a disadvantage being that they are now spent. Maxwell's New Jersey Red Regiment has really done its job, driving Abercrombie, a small detachment, and the Dragoons all get pushed back. Scott's Pennsylvanians move up to hold as Maxwell regroups. Turn 4. This turn Cornwallis did use his tomfoolery and get the kind of initiative he wanted. In other words, he made his alter turn order roll. Here the militia is driven back, but they, the detachment is no longer. Turn 5. Reset Cornwallis. Combat in the center, the detachment that was there, the American detachment, was able to hold the British up long enough for Maxwell to reorganize and drive them off. Where else the Americans have established a fighting withdrawal pattern. Turn six, Washington arrives, relieves Lee of command. Now we'll see how the next two turns fall out. All right, turn six, Washington launches a stunning counterattack in the center. This is the north side. Americans do a fighting withdrawal on the north side. The British aren't fools. Abercrombie's men use a delaying action, sacrificing a detachment to themselves escape. Turn seven, last turn of the game. Now at this point, the British are behind. They've lost a block. They've lost a block. The Americans have not lost a block. So this is gonna go down as an American victory unless the British can make the Americans pay. This means they want to go second. They don't want to go first. They want to go second so they can choose the battles. The Americans have to show their hands first. I drew Cornwallis. Cornwallis wants to delay. He rolls a five. His number is a four or less. He needs a four or less, so he fails to delay. Washington is happy to let him go first. During the American movement phase, the Continental Artillery opens up on Abercrombie and he falls back. The British aren't going to win here, they're just fighting a delaying action. The Dragoons ride off because although they could possibly destroy something, it's more than likely they'll be destroyed and that makes the British loss even worse. So there you have it. End of the game on turn 7. Again, the British aren't here to win a battle. They're here to delay the Americans. Having done that, they simply will ride off. And there you have it. Monmouth ends with an American tactical victory.